name is Stacy Wall. I am design director for HP Notebooks. So I uh, I cover all the consumer notebooks as well as the commercial notebooks. Um, today I'm going to walk you through a variety of the new programs that we're introducing on May 5th. Um, the key thing uh, that I want to kind of give you is is really the the overarching kind of focus and message that the, the designers have wrapped into each of the designs. And the best way to do it is to describe it with four attributes, and I'll tell you the acronym afterwards. But the attributes were materials, usability, sensory, and experience. And we define that as Muse. And Muse was really the code name for everything that you're going to see today as far as products. Um, Muse really was the rally cry for the design team. It was a way of getting all the heads and shoes pointed in the same direction, really focusing on what mattered in each of the designs. And so so as I go through each of the products, whether it be in the all the way down to the Compact G series, is that Muse is a very, very key element um, to, to really what makes the product special. So if I can draw your attention to really the best of the best, this is the HP Envy. And what I'm showing you is actually the HP Envy 14. And one of the things you'll notice is that it looks very different from really any product that you might have seen before from HP. Um, it's an all aluminum design. Uh, we've come back in and really enhanced the materials with a sensory aspect. So if you look at the surface in, in great detail, what you're going to see is that it's, it's visual, yes, but it actually has a sensory aspect, which is really the S in Muse. So what I mean by that is that I can run my hand over this and I actually feel a, a depth or a tactile response to my fingers um, touching the, the, the metal. Uh, the other thing that you'll notice is that just the fit and finish, the cleanliness of the form, and the honesty of it in the sense that this is an aluminum clad design. It is an aluminum uh, skin to the to the rear cover. Uh, it is uh, probably one of the, the most refined forms that we have in the HP lineup. And if I turn it around just so you can kind of get the other perspective, the inside view of the product, you're going to notice that what was on the outside carries through to the inside down to the details on the palm rest where the texture that was on the outside you also see that texture on the inside now one of the probably the the most key elements of the new design language was you the usability of the product and so what we're going to focus on here are, are a couple things that the designer spent a long time through human factors testing a lot of refinement that is how, how do we you know how do we really rethink the keyboard the keyboard is an island style keyboard it is a full pitch keyboard so it's really designed for both the largest hands and the smallest hands um, rethinking the functionality of the the top rows so that's one touch access uh, the ability to control backlighting um, the the touchpad that is sitting beneath the keyboard has been really redesigned the drivers on it we've been working with uh, synaptics who's the uh, the supplier of that technology just to make sure that it, it functions as it should, it's clean, it's simple, and even down to really nice aspects of the product where just a simple double tap, oops, let me do it again here, uh, that I can disable the product, or excuse me, I should say disable the touchpad. For people that are doing a lot of intensive typing, you can just simply tap and the touchpad is disabled, or let's say you plug in an external mouse that disables the, the touchpad automatically. And then just simply double tap and it comes back on. So again, really a nice enhancement. We talked about the backlit keyboard, we talked about the redesigned keyboard. You can see how the designers have sculpted around that surface to really give complete access to that keyboard. You're really you know, un not bothered by any kind of form or, or structure. Um, the other thing too is you notice how clean the form is. Just a simple power button. The rest of the form is is very very clean. There's not a lot of extraneous buttons on here. Um, when I close up the form factor, what I want you to see is how clean and and simple the overall design language is for this. Um, even down to the Beats audio in the speaker openings that you see here. Just some clean and simple slots, giving outstanding audio performance. 
much more so I'll, I'll draw your attention to first this side and then I'm going to rotate it over and to this side. One of the things that we've talked to users is that having all the I.O. on one side was just not a big, big win. And so what we've done now is strategically balance I.O. both left and right. So whether you're right-handed or left-handed, it really gives you a wonderful experience. Uh, also, really enhancing the audio, or excuse me, the, vi the video output. So now we incorporate mini display port. Um, and even down to slot load, you know, a lot of uh, users, as we introduced the NV13 and NV15, hey, we'd really like to have optical support. So now you have slot load optical all the way up to Blu-ray. So really, really um, thought through the design and every aspect of the NV platform. Now the good news is this is really, if you will, the premium. It's, it's, it's the top of the line. But we're able to take all of our knowledge and learning and go from something that we sell tens of thousands of to now what we produce in, in the millions. And this is our new pavilion notebook. And you're going to see a lot of similarities to the Envy line where we have aluminum on the outside. You have the etching to the surfaces. You actually have the same material that you have on Envy carried through to the inside and so here I'm showing you the pavilion DM4 and what it is is this is an aluminum keyboard deck, aluminum rear cover, beautiful island style keyboard, beautiful click pad, again resized, rethought, new drivers, great usability and I'll draw your attention to a couple of nice enhancements that we've really made from a design standpoint. One of the things is when you have all this aluminum all this metal, we wanted to come back and give just a little bit of finesse and detail, and so we've added diamond cuts around both the touchpad as well as the keyboard to give a little bit of uh, visual sophistication to the form, and then you'll notice that the overall form factor is very, very sleek. The designers were, you know, very, very intensely with the engineers to make sure that we were reducing as much mass as possible. So you can see the form, it tapers in every direction. So really to, to make it comfortable to carry, exciting to look at, super thin design. Um, again, the pavilions, and it goes, not, it's not just one size. When you look at the whole family of pavilions, we go from a 12 inch all the way to a 17 inch with the same design language. Now, if I go down one more level, I'm going to pull one of the new form factors. This is the DB5. Okay. And let me just close it for a second so you can kind of see what we've done here. In the DV5, we introduce our next generation of HP imprint where we now mix between a matte surface and a gloss surface to deliver a very exciting, very beautiful finish. The best thing about this finish, it really is great for fingerprints. One of the things about high gloss surfaces is they can attract smudges and fingerprints. What we've developed here is the mixture between a satin kind of matte finish with a gloss overlay. And the benefit is that I get the, the effect of gloss, I get the, the shimmer of gloss, but I have none of the side effects of smudges and fingerprints. And that carries through to the inside. So what you'll find is that as we open it up, you'll see a lot of similarities to you, what you saw in the metal version of the pavilion. This is the, the uh, HP imprint version of the pavilion. Island style keyboard, click pad, same functionality, same simple button structure, and all wrapped into a very, very clean and in, in lean and simple form. Now, one of the things that I want to draw your attention to is we've taken all that kind of knowledge and approach and we're bringing it now down to our minis. And so this is the HP Mini 210 and there's two designs that you'll see here. One is the uh, white crystal, which is this beautiful look at. It has a lot of the attributes that you've seen in the, uh, the pavilion lineup. But also what we're doing this time in the minis is we're actually bringing that color to the inside. So in the past, we have basically just had a color on the outside. Now we're bringing color to the inside. And again, the crystal, uh, the white crystal is just one of our new offerings. The other one that I want to kind of point, your, point you to and, and draw your attention to is a brand new approach on our HP Imprint 3D where we bring now color, the, these, these uh, translucent ribbons that kind of form a, a plaid effect to the back. This is all dimensional. It is laid, laid into the, uh, 
to the back cover in different levels, different translucent levels to give kind of a 3D effect. And then we carry that through. If we look at the inside, again, we bring color to the inside. We bring, bring great detail to the touchpad. Again, that is a 3D looking touchpad along with the environment. So one of the things that, um, let me go ahead and bring on the screen here just in a second is that we're bringing the same kind of design aspects actually to the wallpaper. So we brought in four really, really talented artists. Um, these are artists that really uh, do some nice things with different, uh, different companies like Target or Converse. And we've asked them to design things around mobility, uh, to put together themes and, and design directions around Create Amazing. And so on all the notebooks that you see on the table here, We'll offer now 12 wallpapers uh, that will be available either through the product when you buy it or actually on Facebook. So what the nice thing about it is it really gives you this, when we talked about Muse, the E, the experience, it gives you really an exciting experience that you have now just this beautiful piece of art which is your product but also artwork within. One other product that I want to draw your attention to uh, beyond just the white and pink minis that I have on the table is our Vivian Tam butterfly collection and this is just a gorgeous gorgeous piece of work this is um, a beautiful gold uh, mini 210 and one of the things that when we worked with Vivian she refers to this more as a digital clutch and so uh, one of the things I'd like to show you is some of the things that we've enhanced in this product. Obviously beautiful gold package, all the functionality that we've talked about before, but if I can draw your attention, we've actually worked with Vivian to redefine the actual environment of the product. So when I hit the start menu, you're going to notice something special that goes on. You'll notice that we actually bring the butterflies to life actually in the UI. And so as you start your start menu, you can see the butterfly giving you a magical effect as it floats around. It sits there onto the back and then once you've made your selection it all goes away so again whether it's designs for the fashionista accessories young women young young adults the entire line Muse really reflects a new philosophy, a new approach to everything we're doing in our notebook space. That's a great story. Thanks a lot, Stacey.